Imagine stopping in the store to grab some water, only there are no disposable plastic bottles, just refill stations. Or while you're at the store to load up on groceries, everyone around you has reusable bags. These all may become the norm if we as a society begin to make a change. Americans use 3 million plastic bottles per hour. The average American consumes 217 bottles of water per year. This equates to over 50 billion water bottles used in the U.S. alone every year. The majority of these bottles will be used only once before they are recycled, if they are recycled at all. A plastic bottle is just one example for millions of other types of single-use plastics that are currently in use today. Around 91% of total plastic created will never get recycled. This is because plastic is not easy to recycle, and it's not economically viable all the time either. Additionally, plastics have limited value as a recycled material due to its loss in quality after recycling, and it's not long before it reaches its end of life again and spends an eternity in the landfill. This is a huge problem. Plastic takes hundreds of years to biodegrade, which means that all the single-use plastics that made it to the landfill will take their sweet time breaking down. In fact, around two-thirds of plastic ever made is still around, as it takes 400 years for plastic to degrade. Making plastic relies on extracting crude oil, natural gas, and coal. Transportation of the resources, as well as the heating and cooling of plastic polymers emits greenhouse gases. In fact, in 2021, production and incineration of plastic released 850 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. So why not do something about it? It's time to change our collective habits for the sake of the environment and our health. Plastics threaten public health in many ways. Microplastics are created when larger plastics break down into tiny bits and pieces, and scientists are currently finding microplastics everywhere. In the ocean, these tiny plastic particles are ingested by marine creatures, the same creatures that eventually end up on our food plates. Microplastics can be found in shellfish, in 90% of commercial sea salt brands, 80% of our drinking water, and even in cans of beer. Microplastics drift through the air and fall with the rain over mountains and cities. Eventually, these particles get inhaled by us due to their small size, which can lead to inflammation, genotoxicity, and necrosis. When plastic is still in its larger form, it can be even more hazardous, leaching harmful carcinogenic chemicals. For example, plastics can contain PFAs, long-lasting chemicals that are used to make coatings and products that resist heat, oil, stains, grease, and water. These same toxic chemicals are used to make the containers that store the food we eat, the hygiene and cosmetic products we use on our bodies, and the products we use to clean with. The plastics we come in contact with daily are the same plastics that are linked to cancer, birth defects, liver disease, thyroid disease, plummeting sperm count, kidney disease, and decreased immunity. Wildlife is also impacted. They ingest and get entangled in plastic, impacting their health and sometimes leading to their deaths. You may be wondering, can't we just recycle single-use plastics? Well, some items like plastic straws, coffee stirrers, balloons, and cotton buds are just not recyclable. Recycling plants don't always recycle the same things, and when recyclable materials are contaminated, sometimes entire loads can end up in the landfill. It's more common for recyclable materials to end up in the landfill. For example, only 8.7% of plastics were recycled in 2018. Recycling properly is important for plastic users, but remember, cutting down on plastic usage whenever possible is key. Single-use plastics isn't a simple problem to solve. They are used so frequently in daily life, taking the shape of bags, packaging materials, and fast food containers. However, we can take a step towards a healthier and cleaner future by reducing our plastic use. So how do we actually stop using single-use plastics? Well, there are actually societal changes being made all over the world already. In Australia, when plastic bags are offered for free at the grocery store, 72% accepted. But when plastic bags were associated with a cost, only 27% accepted a bag. In 2014, California became the first state to ban plastic bags. As of March 2018, 
311 local bag ordinances have been adopted in 24 states. As of July in 2018, 127 countries have adopted some form of legislation to regulate plastic bags. Besides these policy changes that help shift consumer behavior, individuals can make smart choices in their daily lives as well, choosing to be part of a solution to sustain a healthier and safer earth. Some steps that you can take include Say no thank you to plastic. At the grocery store, use reusable bags. At a cafe, bring a reusable cup or ask for the drink in a mug. Store reusables in your car or by your front door so that they're easy to grab and you remember to take them with you. Challenge yourself. The average American uses seven plastic bags a week. Take a break from the waste and go a whole week without taking a plastic bag at the checkout. And if that's too easy, go a whole month. See how long you can go without a plastic bag or any sort of plastic. Make changes to reduce your plastic use at home, switching from using wasteful single-use plastic like sandwich bags to brown paper lunch bags or reusable pouches. Become a recycling champion. Help your communities by organizing or taking part in plastic recycling or cleanup events. Perhaps you could hold a beach or park cleanup or create artwork with used plastic to give it a new purpose. How do you reduce your plastic waste? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more science and news from Sustainable Earth.